the anniversary festival for the Elder Scrolls Online is about to start and there are many things that you can do to earn cool reward boxes and there is a way that you can get extra ones. Let me show you how to do it. Hello, it's Icy. Yes, I'm back with some more tips and tricks and a how to be really efficient with the anniversary festival that's coming very, very shortly. So uh, it kicks off in just a few days. It does run for nearly two weeks, I think. Uh, exactly two weeks, something like that. So the anniversary festival is the celebration of the anniversary of the Elder Scrolls Online. Seven years now and I have enjoyed my time here the whole time. It's been fantastic. So each anniversary uh, you get a chance to get extra goodies in the game. Extra goodies, extra XP, extra everything. So there is a way that you can get a few extra bits and pieces. And the trick is you need to do <laughs> not really a trick it's just kind of a little thing you can do do as many quests as you can on your character but don't turn them in until the festival starts so I have my main character here and I have got 25 repeatable quests all lined up here so there are a number of places uh, where you can pick these up most of these are already done so i've got three from clockwork city one i still haven't done ah two i haven't done um i've got one from cyrodiil which is just about finished so rather than abandon that one i'll just hang on to it and finish it off I've got a dragon hunt one that's nearly done. I've got a delve one which is done. Somerset, a delve quest. Uh, the Reach, I've got all of those four repeatables that are in the Reach, referenced in a previous video. Vardenfell, I've got some as well. Western Skyrim, I've got all of my crafting ones which are seven. Uh, I've got a couple of guild ones, I'm just leaving a few guild ones free while I do the, uh, oh actually, guild one? That's a repeatable. Uh, so this is the quest you can pick up from the Undaunted Daily Delve quest, which you can pick up. Uh, and I've got a few holiday events I'm still going to do to turn in. So you can do all of these. Uh, other repeatable quests that you can do include the Cyrodiil dailies, any of the Cyrodiil quests, the Battleground repeatables, uh, the uh, dungeon repeatables, the trial repeatables, any of these quests count uh, for repeatable quests. Every time you turn in a repeatable quest during the anniversary event you'll get an extra gift box. The first one you turn in each day will be a big fancy gold one with a chance for extra stuff in it. It is worth doing. Uh, I will link to the official document below as well as a couple of great reference sites including Benevolent Bodhi's reference uh, that's got more details in here about the anniversary events. So do you need to do this on every single character? Look you've got a few more days. If you can do some quests on characters you don't play very often and not turn them in and you've got time, totally go ahead and do that. If you can't what I would recommend is that the day before the event goes live is that you do all of your crafting writs don't turn them in just don't turn them in save them do them in as many characters as you can don't turn them in and then on the day you can actually go through and turn them in get a whole bunch of good stuff pick up the next lot do those turn them in again uh, so you should be able to get if you're at least on the first day you should be able to get double the amount of reward boxes um, that you would otherwise be able to pick up and yes very valuable uh, motifs ones you can't usually get except by doing um, like sort of hard mode veteran dungeons um, furniture plans including rare purple ones that are hard to pick up like the Vardenfell ones and the Somerset ones 
all sorts of really really good stuff lots of things you can sell lots of money making uh items the whole thing uh materials lots of additional materials so it's a great time to stock up uh if you don't have eso plus this is a great time to take it for one month so if you've got the funds um, and you can afford one month of ESO plus this is when you should take it because it is a great time to fill up your inventory fill up your gold do all sorts of questing uh, the other thing I would say for preparation for this event is to clear out your inventory if you've got stuff in your inventory that really doesn't need to be there, uh, clear it out. It will help you enormously if you can get rid of whatever junk you've got in there. Sell some stuff, uh, use some stuff, make some things, put them in the bank, do whatever you need to do, just clear out your inventory. Mail it to yourself, just leave it in your mail. Um, so you can mail it to a friend, have them return it to you, keep it in your mail instead. There's all sorts of ways that you can strip out your inventory and clean it out um, in preparation for this event. The other important thing about the anniversary event is the double XP generation. So during the anniversary event, you will get a small quest under the crown store it's a free quest it just points you off to your alliance's starting city where you do a mini quest uh, to learn how to make the cake for this year uh, so you can see the jubilee cake 2021 will be found under the tools menu under your collections eat your kit cake once a day to earn the event tickets the event tickets are not related to turning in the quests the quests are extra. Every time you eat the cake, you get uh, double XP for two hours. So eat your cake, get your event tickets, get your double XP. The other thing I would say is make sure that your double XP is running before you turn in your quests. Because when you turn in your quests, including your crafting writ quests, you will get a lot of extra XP. If you have any sort of leveling scroll, so for example, uh, the Crown Experience Scrolls or maybe Grand Gold Coast Experience Scrolls, any of those, most of which you'll be picking up through the login rewards, use those as well. So use one of those, last the cake, then turn in your quests and you will get a lot more XP. Uh, to help you level faster and or if you're up to that level get you a lot more champion points as well so the event is coming soon uh, it's going to be exciting there's going to be all sorts of things uh, wonderful things you can get um, I enjoy this event will I be doing this much stuff every day absolutely not I don't have time <laughs> during the week to do multiple quests on multiple characters. I mean, I have time to do crafting writs pretty regularly and maybe one or two other things, but I don't have time to do all of these things. So I will spend some time prior to the event, just like loading up the characters, ready to turn in a whole bunch of quests once the event starts. So, uh, and then I should get the most advantage of what I can get out of the event even if that's not something I can do every day I should at least be able to get a few quests every day so uh, the other thing I would say is if you are doing the crafting writs on tunes that don't normally do crafting don't forget you might need to pre-prep them uh, if they're very new tunes you may need to do the certifications uh, if they don't already know jewelry crafting uh, you need to go to Somerset to unlock the jewelry crafting and do the certification quest there as well. So just a few other things. Uh, if you are doing the crafting writs as well, you can pre-make uh, the food and the potions that are needed for those characters to do the writs. Uh, if they're all at the same level, it makes it easier, but you may not have the skill points to put in to get every everybody to the same sort of top level. So just do what you can. So, um, But yes, that's all. Are there any other tips that you'd add for the Jubilee? What are we up to? Anniversary festival? Jubilee anniversary? So many festivals. Um, 
let me know in the comments below. Do you have any other tips? Actually, and as the festival goes through, if you find anything awesome, if you pick up anything that is like worth a huge amount of money or you've been looking for, or one of those really rare patterns, let me know in the comments as well. I'm really interested to see what people pick up. Thank you very much for watching. Come follow me over on twitch.tv slash ICYIC. Link is in the description. I stream there four days a week and I'm one of the ESO stream team members. So I do have giveaways and all sorts of extra stuff. So come follow me. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye.